it's really helpful. Very beneficial for me because uh, I came here not knowing what to say in an interview. It's actually quite knowledgeable because I've never encountered this before and I think it's really helpful. I learned techniques, advice, how to apply myself, uh, when it comes to interviews, what to do, and I've learned um, the key things that, that employers are looking for. Start with that question. Situations, find your tasks, find your actions, and find your results. What we've got to do here is to try and build a tower from spaghetti and marshmallows. I'm going to make a really strong place. You've got I will be more confident going to interviews and actually preparing for interviews as well. Yeah, it's really helpful because I'm looking to set up my own business, so... I think it's very interactive and um, it's actually quite knowledgeable because I've never encountered this before and I think it's really helpful. Top tips are always be positive. You might apply for lots of jobs, but there's so many people around trying to get jobs. Don't be disheartened if you get no's. I'd say always go into interviews, really well researched, make sure you look at the company fully. Always have a question prepared, is something my dad's always told me to do. And always make sure you're formal, because you can always step back from being formal, whereas if you start friendly and casual, you can never quite build that up again. This was that internship, so I was a bit scared. I wasn't as confident as I am now, uh, but I got in. So I think what I'm saying is really, you know, apply and kind of put all your effort into it and I'm pretty sure you can convince the hiring manager that you are the kind of right person for the job. But I think travelling is something that you should be open to do for your first job, for any role really. You should be able to travel because quite frankly, you know, if the job's there, the job's there, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, I think another top tip is don't be afraid to go into quite a junior position. I did, I went into a very kind of very bottom rung of my business and now I'm, I'm moving up quite rapidly. Your backup is your, your academic study, so you need to make sure you've studied. That goes straight in your CV, that speaks to your work ethic, it speaks to how much you want your job. You want to sleep, you make sure you get your sleep, it lets you be focused, it lets you be on task. I would definitely say learn to talk to people, because when you talk to people and you're sharing what you understand and how you feel about your whatever it is your area your subject it means that you know what you want to do